Hey guys, it's 604 Comics with my last video for my comic collection version 2.0. Uh, these are all the comics that I bought in 2010-2011. Uh, I've already gone over my Marvel collection, my DC, Image, Top Cow, and the first half of my miscellaneous publishers. Here we're going to go into the last uh, bit. So here we have uh, Lady Death by Boundless. So this was a free issue, Lady Death premiere. Um, I guess uh, Boundless got the rights to Lady Death and they started uh, publishing her books. So I picked this one up because it was free. And then here is the issue zero, the start of the new ongoing for Lady Death. It's a wraparound cover here. Next we have uh, issue number one. Yeah, issue number three, uh, sorry, issue number two. Got a few more here. Issue number three, Lady Death. Uh, number four. And the last one that I picked up, uh, number five. So I've read these, I've read all these ones, and um, I actually liked it. I didn't know anything about the character of Lady Death, but uh, yeah. Um, it's, it was good. I enjoyed it. Not immensely, but I enjoyed it, um, uh, that, um, I probably would have continued buying issues if I was reading it all at the time. So that is my Boundless collection. Next, we're gonna check out, uh, some icon titles that I have. Uh, this one I didn't know anything about, but I think this is a reprint of the original black and white series, Casanova. So this is by Matt Fraction. Um, I still haven't read this, so I don't know what it's about, but this is uh, issue number one, issue number two, number three, and number four. I know that uh, they released another miniseries for Casanova, but there we go. I uh, picked this up when I first started picking up books again, uh, Nemesis Issue 1. <clears throat> uh, it's a story about um, a villain, Miller McNeven's Nemesis. Um, I read this, I did not like it at all, so I didn't pick up anything else, but uh, here's Issue number 1. Then the next other series that I picked up from Icon is Scarlet. Brian Michael Bendis doing not doing this one. Um, so this one, um, what was it about? It's about, uh, I guess, uh, a chick fighting system. I think that's the best way I can describe it based on what I remember. So this is issue number one, issue number two, issue number three, Issue number four. I believe the art on the interior is all the same like this. So that's issue number four. And issue number five. There, there's an issue number six out there as well, but that was delayed for so long that I had to cancel my order. I just wasn't willing to wait for it. It was like three, four, five months. And um, I think issue number seven just got solicited like for this month. So that tells you how long of a delay this is going on for. So I'm not a big fan of um, comics that take forever to come out, so I did not want to continue with that one. The one and only Vertigo series that I was collecting, and this is one of my more favorite series that I have. We have I Zombie. So this is Chris Robertson and Mike Allred doing the art on this. This is my, this was my first experience with Mike Allred, and I love his stuff. So this is <clears throat> the first issue. This was uh, released for just a buck, so um, it's definitely worth uh, spending a buck for to try out, and I'm glad I did. I love this story. This is I Zombie number one. There's also a variant cover of um, number one that um, is kind of cutesy. Uh, I've been trying to find that one, but I can't find it. So if anyone out there knows where I can get a copy for a good price, let me know. Wouldn't mind adding that to my collection. So that's number one here. 
Uh, we got number two, my zombie number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Got Gwen trapped in a coffin underground. Number six. Scotty the Winter Terrier. So we got number seven. It's a nice cover there. Pretty freaky. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Vampire. I zombie you vampire. Uh, number twelve. Number 13. And then the last bunch of my iZombie comics. Number 14 here. Got Gwen's head on a ski ball. 14. Number 15. Bunch of dead zombies coming up from the sewer there. Eisner Award nomination for Best New Series, so. There's a vote of confidence right there. Really good series, like I said. Number 16. Number 17 here. And then number 18. So this was the last issue that I got in this series. I believe it goes up to issue number 21, and then it gets canceled. So I'm gonna see if I can try to find the last issues to complete my run. Because I really liked the series, I Zombie, Vertigo, Michael Red, Chris Robertson. And then this is a comic that I didn't pick up, but it was shipped with one of my orders from Discount Comic Book Services, and it's uh, Scalped, number 47. I don't know anything about this, I haven't read this, so that I can't say anything about this, but this was included in my order, so... and. Uh, they didn't want me to send it back, so I got to keep a free copy. So there we go. Next we have my collection of Dynamite comics. So let's see if I can split this up into a good stack. So here we have uh, Jennifer Blood, Garth Ennis. Got a housewife who moonlights as a killer, assassin. So. <clears throat> There's Jennifer Blood, number one. I think I read the first storyline, and uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. It's still going on to this day. And it spun a couple of uh, spin-offs. Got Jennifer Blood, First Blood, and also has uh, The Ninjets. So those were some spin-offs. Here is issue number two. Issue number three. Issue number four, we got the, the Ninjets on the cover. So they got their own spin off, uh, which got uh, promptly cancelled after like three or four issues. <clears throat> Jennifer Blood, number five. Number six. Uh, and then two more from that series, number seven. And number eight. The next series that I have from Dynamite is actually a um, cross promotion Dynamite Image Pack slash Eva. No Monsters Ball Part One of Four. So this was a mini series. Don't know, don't know anything about the care of Eva, but I know quite a bit about Cassie Hack, so I wanted to go and pick this up. So this is a four-issue miniseries. Here's part one, Monster's Ball. Got part two. Part three. And part four. So there's that. And then we have another series by Dynamite. This is... 
Vampirella. So this um, <clears throat> relaunch was sort of like what happened with Wonder Woman. Vampirella got a new costume where she isn't just running around in, in her red bikini, um, even though all the covers show her in that old uniform old costume, but inside she's all covered up with the jacket and all that stuff, so thought I'd give it a try. Uh, a little bit more mature these days, so uh, I wasn't embarrassed to go and get this. So here's uh, cover to issue number one. Issue number two, that's a nice cover there. Number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, got uh, and then the last bit of my Vampirella. Collection. Here's number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Finally, number twelve. So I read the first storyline. It was okay. I haven't read some of these later issues, but. I think she, Vampirella's actually reverted back to her bikini costume. So I don't know what happened with her new co costume redesign. But uh, there is my collection of Vampirella, 1 through 12. And then I thought I might as well just go and pick up this other mini series as well. Here's Vampirella and the Scarlet Legion, number one. Lovely cover by J. Scott Campbell. Scarlet Legion number two, number three, number four, and number five. I think that was it. I might be wrong. But there's one through five. And then I picked up uh, this issue because it was super cheap. Um, Warlord of Mars, it was only for a dollar. So I went and picked up this one. I picked the uh, J. Scott Campbell cover for this one. And uh, here is uh, issue number two, again by J. Scott Campbell. I read the first, I read this issue right here, and it wasn't my cup of tea. And so I didn't continue with this. Apparently, it wasn't anyone's cup of tea when uh, Disney released a movie. Is, uh, a tent. So that is my dynamite collection. And finally, the last series in my collection. This is my. These are the. These are the books by uh, Zenoscope, who do grim fairy tales. So this is the cover to Fly. This is a five-issue miniseries that they released. And uh, I think they they released another miniseries after this Fly um, Origin or something like that. Um, oh no, wait, Fly the Fall. So that is the second miniseries for this series. But uh, there's issue number one. Um, if you know anything about Xenoscope, then you know all their covers are pretty cheesecake. But um, I'm not gonna let that stop me. Um, here is issue number one. Really sexy cover there. Um, not sure who did the art on this. I'm trying to find a signature on there, but uh, I can't. But uh, there's number one. Here's issue number two. We got issue number three. Issue number four. And issue number five. I haven't read this series, but I might see if I can get around to that. Uh, the next one is 
uh, Grim Fairy Tales Inferno. So this is based off of a character from Grim Fairy Tales. Um, I haven't read Grim, Grim Fairy Tales, so I don't know the character's background, but um, I went and picked this one up. This is issue. This is a five-issue miniseries, so this is number one. This is issue number two. Got number third. Oh, this is second cover for issue number two. So there's uh, two different covers for that one. Got issue number three. Another cover for issue number three. So there's the two covers there. Uh, issue number four, just the one cover here. And issue number five. So that is the five issue mini series for Inferno by Xenoscope. Uh, next, I have um, just some loose issues. This is something that um, sounded interesting. Um, the Monster Hunter Survival Guide. This is volume one for the undead. Um, cover by Greg Horn. Lovely cover there. Um, it, it, this one is more like an encyclopedia type of um, issue. I'm gonna open it up. Let me take a look at it so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I was expecting more of like a traditional comic book as opposed to this really poor paper quality type of thing. So it's like an encyclopedia. Definitely not worth $3.99. Papers are just, it's paper, paper. So it's like an encyclopedia. So I didn't know that uh, this was what it was going to be like, so I only got the first issue of this one. And it's really like stock paper. So that was that one, Monster Hunter's Survivor Guide. And they released a bunch of other ones as well, so this one was for the Undead, I believe they released some for other types of monsters. Uh, next is a uh, Xenoscope uh, Entertainment Presents, uh, Sci-Fi and Fantasy Illustrated. So uh, pick this one up, uh, The Perfect Mate. This one, this reminded me of a story um, that I saw in The Outer Limits. Um, about a uh, um, scientist who creates um, a woman, and then the woman becomes super jealous and start and, and kills him, I believe. So that was issue number one, Sci-Fi and Fantasy Illustrated. And this is the only other issue in this uh, collection, Sci-Fi and Fantasy Illustrated. Um, issue number two. Um, this one is a story about... Um, a world where they televise um, a game show where they try to kill people so it's like a televised like Hunger Games almost um, but um, these people are being hunted so there is issue number two and then I also picked up um, this one called The Theater this I believe there's only five issues of this one, but I only picked up the first few because I stopped buying comics. Um, <clears throat> I think the premise of this is they tell the story um, sort of like as if you're going to a movie theater. They start off with a couple, they go, they go to a theater, and then it goes into the movie. So this is uh, issue number one. Um, who did the art on this? Art Germ, obviously, duh. So there's um, a cover by Art Germ. Lovely, beautiful cover there. Got issue number two. And then issue number three. And that's all I got. So I'm, miss I'm missing issue number four and five. Of that one. And then finally I have an incomplete series. This was one that I picked up when I first started. Um, this is The Waking, another Xenoscope title. 
along the horror lines. So this is issue number two. Number three. And then issue number four. I really like that cover. It's kind of creepy looking. Her veins and the blood tears. So that was a... a f oh, wait. That is only issue number three. So I've got two copies of two covers of issue number three. So I'm actually missing number one and number four. Interesting. But anyways, so there you go. Um, let's put, a, I'll use that as a feature. So that is my collection, guys. That is, those are all the comics I bought during 2010, 2011 when I started recollecting comics again. Um, Thanks for watching all these videos, um, and uh, yeah, I would I definitely want to check out what you guys have. So post some videos and and uh, show me what you, what's in your collection. Um, thanks for watching Six Four Comics. I'll see you guys later.